Hello, I'm Adenika, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney, Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot Guardiotic Custom Amazon Simple Notification Service notifications that are not being delivered. Let's get started. Let's check the following configurations for the services involved in this workflow event delivery. Confirm the SNS subscription and the resource-based policy attached to the SNS topic. Check the permissions on the AWS Key Management Service Customer Master Key. Check the event bridge event pattern. Let's go through the steps now. Confirm the SNS subscription status. Amazon SNS sends a subscription confirmation message to the endpoint that you have subscribed to. To make sure that you confirm the message, you must perform the following actions. Log into the AWS Management Console and navigate to the SNS Console. On the left hand side of the page, choose Topics and select the topic that you have configured to receive Guard UT alerts. For your Amazon SNS subscription ID, verify that the status is confirmed. If the status of your endpoint is pending confirmation, then go to the endpoint and confirm the subscription. After the SNS subscription is in the confirmed state, you must confirm that the permission on the SNS topic are configured to allow events.amazon.com to publish events to it. Confirming the SNS access policy. Go back to the SNS console. On the left-hand side of the page, choose Topics and select the topic that you've configured to receive Guard UT alerts. In the Details section, scroll down and choose the Access Policy tab. Verify that the Access Policy allows the events.amazonaws.com service principal to publish events to the SNS topic. The policy must have an allow on the SNS publish action for the SNS topic resource as shown in this example. Replace the ARN on the resource with the appropriate topic ARN. This is all you need on the Amazon SNS side of things. Permissions on the Amazon Key Management Service. Note that if you've enabled encryption on the SNS topic and you're using KMS CM keys, you must make sure that the KMS CM key used for encryption contains decrypt permission for the event breach service. You can skip this step if you haven't enabled encryption or if you're using AWS Managed Keys. From the AWS Management Console, navigate to the KMS Console and then choose Customer Managed Keys. In the Status field, confirm that the key is in the enabled state. In Key ID, choose the AWS KMS key that you have configured to encrypt SNS messages. In the Key Policy tab, make sure that the policy contains a statement that allows both KMS generate data key and KMS decrypt permission to the events.amazonaws.com principal. The policy is shown below. Finally, you must make sure that the event bridge pattern correctly captures the guard duty findings that you want to receive alerts for. Confirm event bridge pattern. Navigate to the event bridge console. Choose rules in the event section and then select the event rule that you've configured to receive guard duty alerts. Make sure the status of the rule in the rule details is enabled. In the Event Pattern tab, verify that the JSON object finding type matches the specific AWS service, similar to the example provided here. You can also select a detail element after the detail type to specify the type of guard duty finding that you want to receive an alert for. The finding type might also include elements such as the finding severity. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <music>